Welcome to my video. So today we are doing makeup that um, you bought and never tried. <laughs> I think everyone's done the thing where they're like, oh, this is cute or this is cool. I haven't seen this. And they buy the makeup and then they put it in their drawer and they literally don't try it. This one, I actually have two foundations to choose from. That I haven't tried, but I think I'll use, yeah, I think I'll use this one. This is the Max Factor X All Day, or Facefinity All Day Flawless Flex A Hold 3-in-1 Primer Concealer Foundation SPF 20 and 32 Light Beige. And I believe this was the lightest shade they had. Because normally, especially in Europe, I have to get the lightest shade. Because. Oh. And it smells like paint really, really intensely. Here's what half of it looks like on my face. It's pretty light coverage. But. And there's half my face with and half without and I really like the texture of it like it's not too runny but it's not too thick either it's like right right in between right in that good middle area and so this is the foundation just the foundation um I didn't wear primer <laughs> under this. The foundation says that it has a primer also in it. Um, and I feel like you probably don't need one because it's not like clean to dry patches or anything. Okay, so that was the foundation. I'm so sad that I haven't tried that before. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> okay, I have two concealers that I haven't tried before also. I think I might have tried this one actually. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Wear Ultimate Wear Concealer. And it's an extra fair zero. Then I also have Essence Matte Camouflage Plus Waterproof Tattoo Covering. And this one is in light rose. I think you can still get this in the States. So, and I think this one is just Europe. So I think we'll use this one. I don't know. The applicator is a little, little pointy. Sort of like a liquid lipstick applicator. It smells like poopery, or not poopery, but potpourri, potpourri, right? Potpourri. It's like that fancy stuff that they have in the bathroom. That is so weird. Like, you, you know when you go to your grandmother's house and there's like that bowl of like the fancy stuff that like smells and it smells like old people in floral. That's what this concealer smells like. That might be the weirdest concealer I've ever smelled. Though the smell does not, <laughs> does not linger. I can't smell it actually on my face. So that's a plus. That's a good sign. Right? Yeah, I think you can still smell it on the sponge, but I think what I'm smelling when I do it is like the whiff of the sponge. Okay. Here we go. I should have done one eye and not the other eye so you could have seen the difference. But there's my concealer. Pretty good, pretty good. Also, something I haven't used. I have this little 
blush stick and it's NARS um, in the shade Orgasm. It's their like iconic blush shade. That's what it looks like and it has sort of a golden sheen. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. Whoop, whoop, yep. Uh, I'm going to paint it on. Like that. Does that do enough? can't really see that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty light. And then if you, I don't know that I'd use this again. I think I can probably declutter it and not be upset. And then we also have a little baby milk. <laughs> Um, this is the highlighter in the shade Turnip. Pretty little bloop bloop. Let's see. Mm. See how golden it is. We'll sort of try and apply this the same way. Milani bronzer. It's not that I haven't used this really, I just, it's the newest thing. I didn't have a bronzer that I haven't tried, which is surprising because I feel like I had a few bronzers. I went on like a bronzer buying kick a while ago and was like, let's buy all of the bronzers. Um, but I like this one. It's cool. This is the Milani bronzer in Sunkiss. This is number two, the silky matte. Next, I think did I get? I think I got this at Primark or a Primark like store. I'm pretty sure it was Primark, but. Look at this little Lion King and it says the wild side. It was six pounds. I'm like, but look how pretty the colors are. Um, I have swatched this, but I have never actually used it. So, here we go. I'm just gonna do a pretty basic look. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy and put them all over. Ooh, it's like pretty. Um, then I'm gonna take this one and sort of keep it near the outer part of my eyeshadow look. take a little bit of the brown just go in the inner part right here that had 
been more pigment than I thought it would. So I'm gonna bring that down. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, you can see the highlight right there. Okay, here we go. Let's walk. And the highlight. That's pretty true to like what it looks like in the real world. Next thing I haven't tried because it is brand new. I got it on um, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. There we go. I got it on 21 Days of Beauty. It is the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Brunette Betty. Mm. I had um, a great aunt named Betty. She lives in Australia. Let's see. Mm. Mm. There's one mainly done. I would probably have a spoolie. <laughs> If I was, you know, thought things through, because this has a pencil. They need to, like, that you can pull out the pencil and there's a spoolie on the inside. Or, like, or, like, come apart in the middle and then hide a spoolie in there. I like this, but, like, I need a spoolie. So if you, we could just, kata, and then, like, it'd be in the middle, like a magician, like, Sawing it in half, and then there's a magical spoolie in the middle. Urban Decay, if you're listening, you're welcome. Okay. And the other brow. I'm pretty lucky because my brows are not bad naturally. I naturally have quite a bit of brow hairs. They are pretty dark. And there's probably still a little bit of tint left from my amazing esthetician who waxed and tinted my brows. I miss her. I keep seeing her posts and I just, I'm sad that I don't get to have a facial during this time. I mean, for its world problems, for real, but like, you miss my facials. Also, if you want to clear up your skin, see an esthetician. If you're in the Oklahoma City area, I have one who is fantastic and doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I can leave her link down below. Um, I really do feel like that she has made a huge difference on my skin and just how like clear it is. Because it was pretty textured there for a hot minute. It's getting better. I'm like, look at it, look at it. And then, last but not least, I will add some mascara. This is a collab mascara. I have actually used this before, but I lost it. <laughs> and I found it. And so we're gonna use it because I also don't have a mascara that I haven't used. That is so pretty. Maybe I'll keep it and use it on my lips. So that's the makeup. Just a super quick eye highlight, clean face. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks. Bye.